Welcome back to Odoo. Now that I've understood the manufacturing app's most straightforward flow, I would like to organize and automate things a bit more when generating manufacturing orders. For some of my products, like a table, I need a semi-finished product that must be manufactured upstream. You might ask yourself, what is a semi-finished product? Well, to put it simply, it's a product that's used in the production of another product or of a final product. For example, an engine is a semi-finished product of a car. It's important that those semi-finished products have MOs automatically generated when needed. Creating those from scratch is too time-consuming, it adds annoying administrative steps and latency between two actions. So to do this, I will use the bomb feature we saw in the previous video. There are two types of bombs in Odoo, Phantom and Subassembly. The first one, Phantom, allows you to group components under one item that will be included in another assembly without requiring any manufacturing action. The second one, subassembly, is similar, but the components are first assembled via the creation of an additional manufacturing order into semi-finished products which exist in my inventory. In fact, it's better if my tabletop is done before adding it to the rest of my items to increase efficiency. Usually this work is done by the engineering team, but I'll do it myself for this video, so let's see how I can set this up. So here I am on my database for my company, Stealthy Wood. Now let's go ahead and create a manufacturing order for one of my make-to-order products, my table. So I'm going to go ahead and enter manufacturing. And of course, I'll need a bill of materials for this product, um, also known as a BOM or a BOM. So let's go ahead and click on Master Data and go to Bills of Material right here. I've already created one, so let's select it. But this bill of material only consists of some raw material, okay? So I have my table leg, my bolt, screw, ply layer, and wear layer. But actually, I need to assemble a couple of these, the ply layer and the wear layer, uh, to create another component. All right, so I'm going to create a phantom bomb to do that. So I'm simply going to click on Create. And the two layers will make up my wood panel. Okay, and let's add the components here. We have our ply layer and our wear layer. We'll take three of the ply layer and one of the wear layer to make up this product. Now, I don't need to manufacture this, meaning I don't need a manufacturing order. So I'm gonna specify that this is a kit, okay? You see the definitions here. And I'm gonna save. Now let's go ahead and replace the raw material on our main bomb with this one that we just created. Okay, so let's go back to our make to, make to order table, click on edit, and we're going to add the wood panel here. And as you saw, it took three ply layers and one wear layer to create a wood panel. And here we need six of the ply layer and two of the wear layer. So that means that we need two wood panels. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove those raw materials and click on save because we know that they are listed underneath this wood panel. So even though we don't have all of that information right here in this view, what we can do is go to print and click on bomb structure. Okay, and here we will have all of the information. Okay, so if I'm looking at this report, I see um, my main product, which has the bomb, and it has the list of all of the products that are in this bomb, including the wood panel, which has its own bomb, and again, two products listed in that bomb as well. So we have all of that information right here at our fingertips. So it just allows you to be sure you know exactly what's going on in the whole process. All right, let's go back to our Odoo database. But actually, I do need to manufacture a semi-finished product before I can actually produce the end product, my make-to-order table. So I need to manufacture a tabletop, and that consists of two wood panels, so the quantity that I have right here. So let's go ahead and create a new bomb that will um, initiate a manufacturing order. So I'm going to click on Create here. This is for my tabletop. I'm going to leave this as manufacture this product and of course add the two wood panels and save. Okay, now we're going to go back to our main bomb and of course replace the wood panels with the tabletop. Okay, so I'm going to add the line tabletop. As we know, it takes two wood panels to create this tabletop, so I only need one. Okay, and then save.
So since this bomb, which is uh, which does need to be uh, manufactured, since it's a part of this main bomb, when I go to create a manufacturing order for this table, it will also initiate an MO for this semi-finished product as well. So that's really convenient, and I'm going to show you that right now. But before I do, I also want to point out one thing about my tabletop. On the product template, I need to be sure that I have this set to manufacture. So I'm going to go to my inventory tab, and I have that option selected right here. I also have um, make to order selected as well, because since my table is make to order, I also want my tabletop to be make it to order. So be sure that you have that marked. And now let's go ahead and create that manufacturing order for the table. So I'm going to click on create, go to table, and save. Now once I save, this manufacturing order will automatically be populated with the bomb. We can go ahead and check our availability. So as you can see, we have everything available except for that tabletop. That's because we need to manufacture it. So since I created this manufacturing order, it also automatically generated the manufacturing order for our tabletop, which we can see when we go back to our list of MOs. All right. So I have my table right here, which is partially available. And here I have the manufacturing order for my tabletop. How convenient. Okay, so I'll go ahead, enter this, check the availability, my, my layers. As we can see, I have all of my wear layers, but I don't have enough of my ply layers. So let's go ahead, go to this product, and update the quantity on hand, because I actually noticed that we do have more in stock than my system says. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the quantity. Let's go back, check that availability one more time and we're good to go. Now we can produce the tabletop. Okay, I'm gonna record the production. And once we mark it as done, it will automatically be reserved on that main manufacturing order. So as mark's done, we'll go back to our list. As you can see, it disappears because these are our manufacturing orders that are to do, as based by this default filter. We'll go ahead and enter the manufacturing order. It automatically reserved and we can start production. Let's create our work order and finish the flow. So let's go ahead and start. Start working. We have all of our instructions and everything we need. Okay, we're tracking our time. Everything looks good. And let's imagine I'm super efficient, super fast, like a superhero, and I went ahead and finished this table under 30 seconds. So I'm done. Okay. And we see the stage change to finished. Now let's go back to our uh, manufacturing order and be sure that we mark this as done as well. And that completes the whole flow. Thank you for watching.